What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and welcome back to another pack opening video and today we're cracking open a hundred packs of the new set Ultra Prism here on PTCGO and so if you guys did miss it, we actually opened an entire case of Ultra Prism already on the channel so if you want to see some openings of some physical packs, definitely check out the link in the description if you guys want to see that stuff. But you know what, now that the, the set is on PTCGO, it's time to start making some decks, getting back to some of the more competitive content. So, of course, we need the cards to play uh, all these decks that are coming out. So, we're going to crack open a bunch of codes and see if we can uh, get some good stuff here. So, let's just dive in and see what we can get. And one thing I want to mention too is definitely stay tuned and watch throughout the entire video. Uh, on all of our PTCG videos, we always give out free codes hidden somewhere in the video. So definitely be on the lookout for those throughout this opening. So let's see what we're going to get. And I haven't opened anything from Ultra Prism yet online. So basically everything is new at this point. Okay, so nothing too special there, just some regular rares. And one thing that's really weird with PTCGO, the pull rates are usually kind of all over the place. So, uh, you know, when you buy an actual physical box, you kind of know what you're going to get, or you have an idea, but with this, I really don't know. But here we get Darkrai Prism Star right off the bat, but kind of weird, it's taking the... Okay, no, that is the reverse spot. The Shenotic was our rare. They just put the Darkrai at the end, I think, because it was our hollow. But definitely very nice. We got a Darkrai Prism Star. Starting off the opening pretty good. We definitely want to get some of the other Prism Stars, though. Uh, Solgaleo Prism Star, that's going to be the big one I'm going to be uh, hunting for here. Oh, nice. Uh, Secret Rare, a skateboard. Uh, you know, unlike real life, I don't care too much about max rarity, so uh, this one's not going to do me much good, but at least I can probably trade it for some packs on here. So definitely a good pull to get. Let's see. Got Pachirisu. We definitely want a few of those. And a Frost Rotom. So uh, I had a couple people ask to cover the Rotom deck at some point. So hey, if we get enough of the Rotoms, we could definitely build that and make that happen. Hey, another Rotom. But we want some of the other ones if we're gonna make the Rotom deck. So let's see. Execute, Gumshoes, Reverse Gun Tank, and nice, we got Garchomp. So if we ever wanna play around with the Garchomp deck, that'll be nice. We do have a deck profile that we posted a few weeks ago already on the channel. So if you guys do wanna see Garchomp, uh, go check that one out too. So Lolan Volpix, not special. Palpad, Mount Cornet, okay, Luxio, definitely getting some decent uncommons. And we got Magnezone, definitely a good one to have. Has that magnetic circuit ability, lets us attach metal energy as often as we like from our hand. So definitely been a card that's been you know, receiving some attention, so happy to pull that one. So hopefully we can get some Leafeons and Glaceons. Those are going to be the big you know, GX is that I'm really hunting for here. A bomb stone, nothing too special. Just because uh, I was thinking I could probably do like literally just like a week's worth of content just with Leafy on alone. I'm just so so excited for that card. There's so many, I think, different possibilities and different ways you could potentially build that. So that's the goal. Get like one or two Leafeons, then I can probably trade uh, for the last one if need be. So we have Reverse Rampardos, okay. That's actually another card I kind of want to play around with. I don't think it's too competitive right now, but definitely fun. And here we have a Full Art Celesteela GX. Okay, that's kind of cool. Like I said, I don't care too much about Max Rarity on PTC Joe, but at least we got a GX. So let's see what we can get here. We got Shinx. That's definitely good. We got one of the other Rotoms. And another Rampardos. And our Reverse. Ooh, I have a feeling this is going to be a Prism Star since that was our Hollow. So... Let's see, it was I right? Hey, and we have a Giratina Prism Star, very nice. Okay, so, uh, you know, we might be able to make use of Giratina, might be able to do like a fun deck with it. It's another Prism Star I don't think is like too great right now, but uh, you never know, in the future it could be decent. So let's see here. Simeon, that's cool. Uh, we got Cynthia, that's definitely good. We definitely want to place at those. And unlike real life, like I said, I'm not trying to get max rarity, so I'm not really trying to get any Full Art Cynthia's. We can just pull regular ones. I'm actually cool with that. So just a Salazzle in that pack. Nothing too special there. Another patch of resets, good. Low and Duck Trio. And hit Pout on. All right, so let's keep on going. So we've gotten a couple of good things as far as rarity goes, but nothing too playable just yet. Hey, we did get another Rotom, <laughs> to be fair, and we got a Reverse Rotom, so more pieces to our Rotom deck if we ever want to build that. 
another Pachirisu. Cool. So we should be, you know, just about set to play that Raichu Pachirisu deck if we choose to. So no Empoleons yet. That's another card that would be good to pull here. Fan Club Reverse. And nice, we got Full Art Duskmane Necrozma. So definitely one of the better GXs to pull. You know, kind of one of the hyped metal cards that came out of the set. And uh, so Meteor Tempest, 220 for four energy, but you discard three. Not too bad since we have things like Magnazone in the format and Mount Cornet. And Sun's Eclipse GX is also pretty solid, 250. Uh, no real drawbacks, just you can only use it if you're down on prizes. So definitely a pretty pretty good card to get. So this is definitely my favorite out of everything we've opened so far. But uh, you know, let's see if we can get some other stuff. And I'm kind of happy it's a four because I can trade it away and probably get like a regular version with a couple packs to make up for the rarity. So definitely okay with that. Nice, we got a Rengu. I think that's our first one so far. And nice, we have a full art Lana. Yet again, don't really care about max rarity, but at least we're actually getting pretty good pulls. Because sometimes, like I've mentioned, you know, the pull rates on PTCGO are kind of over the place. I've opened, you know, this many packs before on PTCGO and gotten nothing before. You know, out of 100 packs, I might have pulled like three GXs. So, really hit or miss. You can get really good or really terrible pulls on here sometimes. Hey, there we go. We got Leapion GX. Nice. So... Uh, you know, this PTCGO opening is treating us pretty solid. I think uh, I like their algorithm that they're using right now to, to give us these pulls. Uh, they're doing a really good job at hooking us up with some good stuff here. So definitely very nice. Hopefully we can get a couple more of these. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be difficult to trade for on PTCGO in the early stages of the new Ultra Prism format. But uh, uh, just because I know a lot of people are excited to try it out. So hopefully we can pull some. We won't have to trade for them. But if we have to, it won't be the end of the world. And just a, a pout on there. So nice. We've only opened, what, like 20 packs or something like that so far. And we've gotten better pulls than like a booster box, I think. And we have Weavile. It's actually a card I think is a little bit underrated. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it, but Evil Ad Admonition? I think that's how you pronounce that. Actually, kind of a half decent attack. So we can pull some more Weaviles. I wouldn't mind. I would like to try that out, like I mentioned. Here we got Gardenia and Luxray. And we got Luxio in the same pack. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about Luxray. Um, you know, we did post some videos featuring this card. And eh, it's a little underwhelming so far. But hey, if the card ever does get good, we will have, uh, you know, some pieces for the deck if we do choose to play around with it. So we have Simeon. That could be cool. Unit Energy. It's definitely good to get. And another Heat Rotom. So we've gotten a couple Rotoms. Uh, I guess we still need the grass one and the other water one and the normal type one, I think. Looky, looky. Did get a pal pad out of that pack. So that's kind of good, I guess. Alrighty, so let's see. We have, ooh, we have a reverse rare, I'm guessing. Okay, so we have Drapion and a type no. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Let's keep on going. See, Riolo, it'd be nice to get some Lucario's. That could be good. Hey, speak of the devil. That's awesome. <laughs> so we got the Riolo. We got our Lucario. Uh, I have one from my pre-release uh, code I redeemed on here. So wouldn't mind maybe like one more or something like that. Just to you know, make sure we have three. I think that's a solid number. Probably don't need more than that, though. So we have Riolo. Can we get another Lucario? Ah, dang. Just Okay, so we have a Lucky Lucky. Uh, but we did get the Reverse Shinx and Mount Cornet, so those are definitely good cards. Shinx, debatable. <laughs> like I said, the, the Luxury deck is not that great, I don't think. But uh, like I said, we will have access to it if we want it. Type Null. And hey, we got that Grass Mo Rotom I was talking about. So we're getting closer to building our Rotom deck on here. Alright, so we got Roselia and a Drampa. Okay. So, time to hit another GX. We got the Leafy on. Let's see if we can get something else, though. But it's been a few packs since we've gotten something. Eh, nothing crazy there. So, we got a Reverse Rare, it looks like. So, yeah, Roselia. Nothing too special. Or, I'm sorry, Rose Raid. Hey, and we got Floor Loose. I mean, I gotta say, this thing looks really crazy. I've been really trying to find it in real life. I just want to look at it, just because the art on this thing is incredible. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Lusamine as a card. I know it's seen play in some mill decks like Sylveon and stuff like that, but overall, it's kind of like a mediocre card, I think, especially now that Palpad 
is available for those decks to use but man this thing looks crazy <laughs> so definitely going to be be trading this one away despite how good it looks so let's see here so we got reverse haunch crow and a hip hat on okay nothing too crazy and actually, guys, too, if you do play the online game and you want some free codes, definitely check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. We give out free codes on those platforms every week. Ooh, and we got Savali GX. Don't need that one, though. But yeah, we give out free codes on those platforms every week. And specifically on Patreon, we always give out codes from the most recent set. So if you guys want to learn how to get some free codes every week, I will have links in the description to those platforms. And here we got Dawnwings Necrozma GX. Very nice. So a uh, card I actually think is a little bit underrated. I know it's had some, uh, you know, people talk bad about it just because it's weak to Zora Arc, which, you know, is bothersome, but I do think this ability is actually pretty good. So definitely a card I wanted at least one of, maybe two of, uh, just to play around with. You never know, it might, might be better than people think. So going on, Versnover and Garchomp. So these last packs have been pretty good. We got the Savali, the Dawnwings Necrozma, and Garchomp all back to back, so. Definitely doing pretty good. PTCO is treating us right today. See, so Ancient Crystal. Hey, we got Dawnwings to cross, but okay. This pack's probably lit because if normally that would be where our reverse is, so if that is where our rare is, we have a Prism Star, I'm betting. So let's see what we get. Hey, we got Lunala Prism Star. Okay, cool. So Lunala, another Prism Star I'm not too excited about, but hey, we we only need the one to have a playset just because you can only have one in a deck. So if we ever want to play around with it, we were basically good to go. So definitely an awesome pack there. Two Dominics and Crosmas, like <laughs> right within a few packs of each other. That's wild. So we are doing amazing. Uh, we don't have any Glaceons yet, though. That's another card we definitely want to be on the hunt for. That's a card that's going to be very tough to trade for, I feel like. And we have Full Art Zerkatry. This is stupid good. Oh, man. If only... I wish all of my real-life openings were like this. That would be incredible. So you have Heatran and Frostratum. But then there are definitely other days where I don't uh, want my Porites to be like how they are in PTCO. Like I said, it's kind of all over the place. We were just getting a little lucky uh, this time. It's got Type Null there, nothing too special. So what are we at like 10 Ultra Rares or something like that so far? And we've only opened like 40 packs. It's pretty, pretty good. So let's see. And have a reverse rare so that is good hey we got garchomp that's actually really good and rose raid so we're getting to the point where we've pulled pretty much most of the commons and uncommons at this point i think just now we're looking for duplicates and oh okay i i'm wrong apparently we did not pull that pip up yet and we did get cynthia that's good we got reverse ram Partis, which is kind of decent and rare drapion which is terrible <laughs> So moving on here, we got Riolu, that's good, Gibble, that's good, Skateboard Verse, it's kind of neat, and a Wash Rotom. So I think that was the other Rotom that we needed, because we pulled the Frost one before, so I think that was the remaining one. We just need the Colorless one, and I think that will be it. So Reverse Mount Coronet, that's definitely good, and another Hapaldon. So we got Magnemite, we got the good one, uh, Reverse Fire Memory, it's not too bad. Hey, and our first Empoleon of the opening. We've, you know, pulled a million Ultras, but this is our first Empoleon somehow. So let's keep getting some more of those if possible. You know, any Empoleons, Garchomps, Magnazones, Lucario, these are like the big rares to kind of be after. Since those are probably the most playable ones. So we can get just those in GX, because that is going to be ideal. So we have Garchomp. Nice. And Magnazone. That's... That's a pretty lit pack. You know, if you're not going to pull any Ultra Rares, that's definitely a really good pack to get. And, you know, normally I don't play Max Rarity on PTCO, but if we pull enough of these Reverse Garchomps, I might just say screw it and keep them instead of trading them away. So let's see what we're going to get here. We got a Reverse Rare. It's got Drapion. Not too exciting. And Shaman. Equally uh, pretty mediocre. Actually, that's probably not fair. Shaman is probably a better card than Drapion. Uh, it's because Shaman actually has like a half decent first attack. Oh, so next we have our Fan Rotom. And another Licky Licky. We've pulled like a million of these things. We need to like quit pulling these and start pulling some Empoleons. That, that's what we need to do. 
So we're about halfway done with the opening. We've already done amazing. So, but we still need a couple cards in particular. We need not a washroom. <laughs> uh, we need Glaceon GX. Uh, Dialga GX would also be good. More Leafeons would also be good as well. Uh, but we've been doing pretty good as far as our regular rare pulls. Oh, nice. We have our first Tapu Lele. Definitely another solid rare to get. You know, I do think the Psychic one's probably a little better, but we do have access to Counter Energy in standard format. Uh, so we can still make use of that Fairy one. And nice, we have yet another Dawnwings Necrozma, but we have the Full Art one. And, uh, you know, since Dawnwings Necrozma, I see, I see it kind of being just like a one-of in certain decks. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll hang on to the Full Art one instead of trading away. It does look pretty nice. And we got a Reverse Magma in that pack, too, so definitely a super solid pack there. So we have another Cynthia. We have Magirna. Oh, okay, and that is our rare, so this must be a Prism Star. And nice, we got the Slugway of Prism Star, so definitely a super good pack here. Uh, we got Cynthia in there too. Uh, we have our one Slugway of Prism Star that we need for our metal decks that we want to try out. So definitely a good pack there. We've pulled, I think, four Prism Stars. We just need Cyrus and Super Boost Energy. I think that's it, actually. We've pulled all of the Pokemon. So we got the Reverse Reel, that's not too bad. See what we can get here. Have a Salanit and another Salazzle. Okay. So we're definitely pulling a lot of stuff here, guys. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, you guys, the community, you've done a great job of letting me know what type of decks you want to see covered on the channel. But, um, oh, nice. We have it. another Duskman to cross this time, the regular art. So we've already have two. We just need one more. We probably don't need more than that. Uh, three seems like a good number to have. So definitely a really, really good pack there. But yeah, guys, uh, you guys have done a good job of letting me know what type of decks you want to see covered. But there's just so many good decks, I think, or interesting decks we could cover here on the channel. So let me know below in the comments, too, what type of archetypes do you want to see on the channel. I'll try to do my best to get as many, uh, get to as many of them as I can. And here we have Reverse Shaman. I think that's our first Shaman of the opening. And another Wash Rotom. So let's see here. We have... Gibble, Pachirisu, Unit Energy Reverse, and a Type Null. Alright, so it looks like we're down to 40 packs left. We are doing great so far. We actually might be able to pull playsets of most everything we need at this rate. So we have Morotum and Electivire. So we have two Necrozmas. That's pretty good. If we have to trade for one, that's not the end of the world. Uh, we definitely want another Leafeon or two. And any Glaceons at all, like literally unlimited Glaceons, because <laughs> I feel like that's another card in the early stages of this Ultra Prism format. People are going to be thirsty to get here on PTCGO. Whoa, so we have the gold Solgaleo GX. That is crazy. You know, I did open a ton of packs of this set, and I was not able to pull any of these gold uh, GX Pokemon. They have the gold Solgaleo. And the gold Lunala. As far as I know, I believe the rarity on them is the same as the normal secret rares. So one secret rare out of every three boxes is the pull rate. Uh, and then there's like, what, eight secret rares. So it's really hard to pull these specific ones. Uh, so as far as I know, like I said, the pull rates are just regular secret rares. But uh, <laughs> it's definitely been an impossible card, it seems like, to pull in real life. But happy we got one on PTCGO. Like I said, I don't play max rarity, but definitely a good trade bait. And uh, uh, a card I did not expect to see. So that's actually pre pretty awesome, I won't lie. So like I said, lucky for someone on PTCGO, I will be trading this away because I don't play Max Rarity, but definitely probably one of my favorite pulls that we've gotten so far. So Dramper Reverse and another Lux Race. So not too bad there. God, I'm going to have to like go through and check how many GXs we actually pulled from this opening. <laughs> well, we have a Palkia next. So Palkia, you guys have heard me run my mouth about this card. It's pretty terrible, I think. Definitely the worst GX from Ultra Prism, but hey, uh, at least we got one and just in case we ever do want to mess around with it. Probably would wait until the water version comes out in Forbidden Light, or more than likely it'll be in Forbidden Light at least, um, just because you have access to Aqua Patch and uh, this thing is kind of bad because it's dragon type that's the main thing it's other attacks are like okay even if it is water type but just the fact it's dragon type makes it even worse but hey it's a gx we will take it so you have reverse Pachirisu and a rare shaman 
But yeah, I'm really curious. I think we're going to do that, actually. At the end of this, we're going to go through uh, everything that I pulled here and see how many GXs and Ultras we got because we did <laughs> amazing so far. But here we have Empoleon. That's definitely a really good pull. I think that's only our second one, so if we can get two more. That would be even better. So we have Reverse Shaman, another one. We pulled a couple of Reverse ones, but no regular ones. But that's fine with me. Not really looking to pull any Shamans. Just kind of an interesting little fact there. We put a lot of Hippowdons too, so I want to see less Hippowdons, less Drapions, and less Licky Lickies. I feel like we've pulled the most of those so far. And a rare Toxic Rook. Okay. So I'm trying to think what other cards we really haven't pulled yet that we need to. Shinate, we've pulled that already, so nothing too special there. Like I said, Boost Energy, Cyrus, uh, and Glaceon I think are the main ones. I could be forgetting something, but I think that's, that's it. Then, of course, any secret rares or full arts or anything like that, but... Uh, type no Reverse and a Frost Rotom. So, we're hitting a couple of dud packs here, but honestly, we are probably overdue. <laughs> I've been pulling like a god so far in this video. Uh, and a Hollow Cresselia. Nothing too special there. Well, we've only pulled one Weavile so far. I wouldn't mind getting a couple more of those. We did get another Reverse Orangu. I think we already got one of those. So that is cool. And another Garchomp. I'll be happy to take that. I think we've definitely pulled uh, enough Garchomps at this point. So I'm probably just have to trade a few of these away on PTCGO. But that's okay. Rather get Garchomps than like Roserade like this. <laughs> Alrighty guys. So after this pack we will be 75% through the opening. And we have an Empoleon. So that's definitely good. It's our third one. So we just need one more of those. So 75% of the way through. We've pulled amazing so far. Uh, you know, if we pull bad for the rest of this, we've done amazing for all these packs. So yeah, definitely hitting a couple of regular rares here. These past, you know, what, like five or six packs. Let's try to get something else here. We have Reverse Magnazone. So that's definitely a really good regular rare to get. Hey, and we got Hollow Magazone. So we have our Magazone playset now, I'm pretty sure at this point, because we did pull one or two earlier. So doing good there. We got our Magazones. We got our Garchomps. We just need one more Empoleon. Uh, we need some Glaceon still. Let's see, we have Reverse Cresselia, which is a rare. Hey, and we have Dialga GX. Very nice. So we did need uh, Dialga as well. So we're doing good there. Uh, the only GX I believe we haven't pulled is going to be Glaceon, actually. So we have Electric Memory. And our millionth Garchomp at this point. <laughs> but like I said, rather pull Garchomps as opposed to Rotoms. Or Licky Lickies or stuff like that. Hey, nice, we got our second Leafeon GX. It's amazing. So I was hoping not to have to trade for many of these. Uh, looks like we're going to be forced to trade for some Glaceons here at one point, but at least we won't have to worry about Leafeon as much. That is definitely a great pull. So if we can get one more, that'd be even even better. So yeah, for Reverse of Howdon. And another Dialga GX. So definitely another uh, decent GX to get. So let's see. We have Reverse Executor. And a Shaman. Okay. So we had a couple of back to back GXs there, so it's only fair that we got, you know, a kind of a, a less than stellar regular rare. So we have Reverse Gibble and Araquanid. First Araquanid actually of the opening so far. Interesting. I don't know if there's any other rares that we've missed, but it feels like we've pulled all of them at this point, though. So we have Licky Licky Reverse and another Drapion. <laughs> So here we have Electivire and another Electivire. Okay, nothing special there. So hopefully we can just end this opening with one Glaceon. That's like ideal, I think. Or that's a realistic, I feel like, goal to have at this point. We've pulled every GX except Glaceon, and we just need one really. Trading for three is going to be a little bit of a chore. I can probably deal with trading for two though. And we have Luxray. Or if we just pull more like good for like supporter secret rares, probably just trade those for packs and use the packs to trade for Glaceons. So that's actually not a bad way to go about it either. Have a tap with Lele. Alrighty, so we have Fan Rotom and Executor. So the pulls are slowing down, guys. So it looks like we have 11 packs left counting this one, I believe. So we have Heatran and Alone Sand Slash. So 
Like I said, 10 packs left. If we can get Cyrus, Boost Energy, and Or Glaceon, that would be <laughs> kind of ideal. That might be a lot to ask for out of 10 packs, but you know, we've had some crazy pulls so far, so you never know. And we have another Garchomp, so not too bad though. Alrighty, let's see what we got. We have Magmortar and Obama Snow. Okay. Come on, give me Glaceon. Tap a Labor Reverse. Okay, so that's actually cool. Not a, a bad rare to get. And another Dialga GX. So, fortunately, we don't really need three Dialga GX. It's kind of like a one of, maybe a two of, and like metal variants just for that timeless GX attack. So you get another turn after you use the attack, which is pretty crazy. But since it's your GX move, you can only use it once, so not really much of a need to have like a high count of that guy. So at least we have some good trade bait to maybe get some of these cards if we don't get lucky enough to pull them here. So we have Reverse Heat Rotom, or actually no, that's a regular one. And we have another Giratina Prism Star. Okay, so not the one we needed, but you know, it's, it's okay if we get some duplicates, we can trade them away. I uh, don't mind that too much. It's better than, you know, pulling just a, like a reverse Licky Licky or something like that. Let's see, we have, nice, we have Full Art Pokemon Fan Club. So, some more good trade bait potentially. Uh, you know, it could be a good card, especially after Bridget rotates. So, I don't know, might be one worth hanging on to. But, like I said, not too worried about having the Full Art version online if need be. Okay, so we have Reverse Manaphy. And Arachnid. Alright guys, so it looks like we have four packs left counting this one. We're missing a lot still. Glaceon, Boost Energy, and Sire. So let's see if we can make it happen. Uh, no, we got Magazone. But at least that is a good pull. We do have our playset already. But uh, I'm happy with getting that as opposed to, you know, some of the other junkier rares that we've been pulling. Let's see what we got, guys. We have Heat Rotom. Okay, and we have a Prism Star. It is... Ah, oh, dang, it's another Lunala. Okay, so at least it is a Prism Star there. That's cool. Not the one we wanted, but hey, we will we'll take it. So only two packs left, guys. We're asking for a lot here. We need, come on. We could get, oh man. Come on, Glaceon. Glaceon. Ah, oh, we have another Full Art Celesteel at GX. So, hey, we're getting plenty of trade bait, though, even if we're not pulling exactly what I want. But we have one pack left. We could pull, like, the most godly pack and get, like... Cyrus with Glaceon because the Prism Star takes up the reverse spot. So let, let's see if we, we can get here. Last pack, guys. Let's do this. So we have Reverse Lily. Okay. But for our last rare of our 100 packs that we are cracking open, we have Hippaladon. Okay, that's like the most anti-climactic pull we could have possibly have gotten. <laughs> but it's okay. We did amazing. And actually, I'm really curious how well we actually did. So give me one second. Let's go over to the collection and see how many Ultra Rares that we actually did get out of this opening. Alright guys, so for the GXs we got, we did pretty crazy. We got, uh, looks like the two uh, Celesteela GX here. We got the two Dawnwings Necrozma. The one Dawnwings Necrozma Full Art, the three Dialga GX, probably don't need that many, but that is okay, we can trade those away if need be. Uh, one Dustmane Necrozma, we got the gorgeous Full Art version, two Leafeon GX, very nice, definitely the card I was personally most on the hunt for. There's a ton of, I think, fun decks we can make on PTCGO that I'm very curious to try out, so definitely a card that will be put these very soon. One Palkia GX, was very fortunate we didn't pull many more of these. Uh, we have the one Silvalli GX with the alternate art. And then we have the crazy looking secret rare like gold Solgoyo GX and full art Zerkatry GX. So let's see, we got was it two, four, five, uh, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen uh, GX pulls out of a hundred packs. So I figure hundred packs is like roughly three boxes. E each box has around like usually about five the six ultra rare pulls let's just say like five on average so and that's not even counting any of the full art trainers or anything else that we got so we did actually really really nice as far as our gx pulls but then we also did pull some other stuff let's see we have our prism stars so for these we got basically everything other than the trainer cards and energy so we got the one dark cry prism star we got two giratina prism star two Lunala Prism Star, 
and the one Solgaleo Prism Star. So we are missing the Cyrus and Boost Energy, but hey, we still did pretty good. Just unfortunate though, our duplicates were of the less playable Prism Stars that came out of the set, but uh, hey, we still did really good, like I said. And we still do have some trainer cards that we did pull, so let's pull up those real quick. And let's see, Full Art and Secret Rare. Oops, we have to turn on Old Prism, my bad. Okay, so we did pull a couple of Secret Rare trainers. We got the Secret Rare Escape Board. We got Full Art Lana. The amazing looking Full Art Lusa. I mean, this is still one of my favorite cards. I think it came out of the set, just for the art at least. And then we have the Full Art Pokemon Fan Club as well. So overall, guys, we did pretty darn good out of this PTCGO opening. You know, a lot of times, like I mentioned, the pull rates on this are really all over the place, but we did a really great, I think. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one. And like I mentioned earlier, if you do want to see some physical openings, I will have a link below in the description to the Ultra Prism Booster Box case that I opened here on the channel. But as usual, guys, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you can support this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up something from our online store at rarecandytcg.com, it would mean a lot. But with that, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you for the next one.